Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Um, today I'm setting up my bullet journal for May, which is kind of scary to think about because I feel like I haven't done much this year and it's already May. For this month, I wanted to do some doodles of plants and flowers and foliage and stuff like that. Um, I was kind of inspired by a mix of Amanda Reachley and also Archer and Olive. They are just really good at drawing florals and stuff, so I wanted to try it myself and these are just random shapes and stuff that I thought of. Nothing really makes sense, but I think it turned out pretty well. Also, I apologize again for my interesting looking nails and just my overall aesthetic. I have not been keeping up with anything and it just does not look pleasant. But anyways, I'm just finishing up some of the doodles um, for the heading and then I already used my pencil to pre-space out all of the days and I used my Tombow Fidenoske brush pen to letter in Monday through Sunday. Once again, this is a Tombow Fidenoske in the soft tip and the pink gel pen that I'm using is the Energel Klena gel pen. Once again this month, I use a ruler to draw in all of the lines. Normally I don't use a ruler, but I've done a lot of monthly spreads without a ruler, but they usually end up looking tragic, so um, I think moving forward, I'll probably use a ruler. Also, I wasn't really sure what colors I wanted to use for this month. Um, my doodles are obviously just black and white, so I really could go in any direction. Um, I did want to do something pink or like reddish pink for Mother's Day, but I don't have like a marker or a highlighter of that color. So what I decided to do was whip out my watercolors and mix up a really pretty rosy pink color for the um, little dot numbers. I feel like dot numbers isn't an actual phrase, maybe like date dots, but yeah, I don't really remember the color that I used, but it was um, something from Windsor Newton or Daniel Smith, and I also used my water brush to make all of the little blobs. And a little trick for you is to um, dry out your paintbrush just with a paper towel and then use your paintbrush to suck up some of the ink. That just creates a really pale look and more of like a watercolor effect for the dots. After I let it dry for a little bit, I wrote in all of the numbers and then I'm going to move on to the bottom section first. Um, I just hand lettered in it currently and doodled in some more florals and leaves and stuff. I kind of want to make that a consistent part of my spreads for this month. I used a Netflix emoji to mark in currently watching, a unicorn sticker from Sparkly Paper Co. to mark in things that I'm loving, um, this sort of like karaoke emoji to mark in music that I'm loving, and then the last one is a reading girl sticker from the Fox and Cactus to mark in some books that I'm reading. And then beside that, I usually switch up that section quite a bit. Um, last month it was about like news and stuff, and this month I wanted to make it about just like feelings. So I just put down this anxiety emoji, and around the end of the month, I guess, I can just fill it up with like a reflection of me. I just drew a box around it, and um, I messed up some of the line parts, so I also drew some leaves to cover it up. Also, something completely off topic, a few weeks ago I mentioned that I purchased two fountain pens for myself as a treat and they're both due to arrive next week, which I'm just so excited about. They're both pens that I've been wanting since high school, so it's kind of crazy that I finally get to have them. I just wanted to share that little bit with you, but um, I'm going to move on to planning the actual month. So again, I didn't have any like actual solid plan, so I first cut up a Star Wars Stormtrooper emoji to mark in May the 4th, of course, and then for the 10th, I put down a tulip emoji that just came out this weekend to mark in Mother's Day. I'm really sad I can't be with my mom on Mother's Day, but I will probably just FaceTime her. Then I used a little coffee doodle from Bubba Bear Studios to mark in that I will be buying a gift card for one of my friends. And then for Saturday, I wanted to use my highlighter to highlight, obviously, but I didn't apply the right amount of pressure and the lines turned out really wonky, so I just took a flag sticker from Two Little Bees and made my own little label just to mark in new releases. And then on top of Saturday and Sunday, I put down a Lazy Day sticker from Randy.Plants. And then for Wednesday, um, May the 6th, my finals and my course grades come out, which is kind of nerve-wracking. Hopefully I did well. I just layered an alarm clock sticker from Sweet Kawaii Design on top of the flag and marked that in. 
And then for the middle of the month, I have some deadlines coming up. So I just put down this sort of chaos emoji and drew a line across a week. After that, on the right side, I decided to make a spending tracker. Um, of course, it's not made yet, so I don't have the page filled out, but I just made some headings and stuff. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this monthly setup, and I will see you next week with another Plan With Me. Bye, everyone!